What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're comparing two of the best pairs of jeans for shorter men. Okay, when it comes to jeans made specifically for the shorter man, Peter Manning and Ashley Erie are two of your best choices. But which brand is best for you? Okay, first of all, I'm not comparing, uh, you know, which of these brands is better. This isn't like a Peter Manning versus Ash and Erie thing. These are both great brands. Uh, they both make a great pair of jeans. I have them both and I wear them both regularly. And I really appreciate both of these brands. You know, they're both focusing exclusively on the shorter man. Uh, and we've been largely ignored by the fashion industry for a long time. So that's great. And they both make a high quality product. Um, so their jeans, you know, they aren't the cheapest jeans, uh, but they're very high quality. So I think these are both great options. I just want to give you all the info you need to make the best purchase for you. Okay, to help you make the right purchase, uh, I'm going to show you what these jeans look like on my frame. And just for reference, I'm about 5'6 in shoes and about 120 pounds after dinner. Also, I have pretty thin legs for my build. Okay, the Peter Manning jeans I'm wearing in this video are their skinny stretch jeans, which are 2% uh, elastane in size 29 and 27, and they're only available in one wash, which is the dark indigo wash. And the Ash and Erie jeans I'm wearing in this video are their indigo wash, uh, they're 1% elastane and size 28, 27. Okay, so let's look at both pairs of jeans. First, we'll talk about the difference in style. And the main difference here is in the color of the actual denim and the thread. The Peter Manning jeans are a classic indigo wash. They're dark, they're inky, and like a true indigo, they have just a slight purple tint. Like most jeans, they're stitched together using a gold thread, so they have that classic jeans look. Okay, the Ash and Erie jeans, on the other hand, to me have a slightly younger, slightly more modern look. Uh, the denim, uh, it's an indigo wash, but to me it looks a little more navy, like a true blue and less purple or less indigo. And they're using a light blue stitching, so it's like a ghost thread, and it gives it kind of more of a young, kind of more urban look in my opinion. The Peter Manning jeans have no visible branding or logos on the outside. Uh, the Ash and Erie jeans have a black leather uh, patch above the back right pocket with their logo embossed. Okay, so we've covered style, let's talk about fit. Now keep in mind, I'm comparing a Peter Manning 2927 to an Ash and Erie 2827, so it's not a perfect comparison, but uh, still, I think this is gonna be helpful and there are a couple of differences in terms of fit uh, that you have to be aware of. Okay, if you wear both pairs of jeans, the thing that's really gonna stand out to you is the rise. The Peter Manning jeans have a slightly longer rise than the Ash and Erie jeans, and so they're gonna wear a little higher up on your waist. The Ash and Erie jeans feel kind of low rise in comparison. Due to the shorter rise, the Ash and Erie jeans are actually a little shorter overall than the Peter Manning jeans. The Ash and Erie jeans have a 35 and a half inch outseam, while the Peter Manning jeans have a 36 and a quarter inch outseam. The other difference you'll notice, and this is subtle, but it's the overall taper and the shape of the leg. The leg openings are pretty much identical, but if you lay the jeans on top of each other, you'll see that the Peter Manning jeans have just a little more curve, a little more taper uh, on the lower thigh and along the knee uh, than the Ash and Erie jeans do. Overall, both of these jeans are great options uh, for shorter men. Uh, they're both, uh, you know, somewhat pricey uh, in terms of jeans. I mean, they're not like ridiculously expensive. I don't think they're overpriced for what they are, uh, but they're not the cheapest jeans you can find. Peter Manning jeans retail for $98 full retail when they're not on sale and the Ash and Erie jeans retail for $159 full retail if they're not on sale and if you don't buy a bundle. If I had to pick one, I'd probably go with the Peter Manning only because I prefer the longer rise. I like to wear my pants a little higher up on my waist, but I do really appreciate the uh, overall style and the quality of the Ash and Erie jeans too. I'd love to hear from you. You know, if you've tried either of these brands or especially if you've tried both of these brands, Definitely share your thoughts down in the comments section. If you have any more questions that I can help out with, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, stay stylish.